and welcome back to well another update week so this week I had a couple of rage quits from lag and me losing a whole bunch of stuff but I got over it I got back on doing some other stuff so what has been happening this week first off um, I've started more on actually getting more stuff done for the actual making this an actual adventure at some point so I started putting these in What's going on? And boom! So the wars revealed two massive guns. Two massive guns hidden behind the war. And then if I keep walking forwards, it says welcome to the vault and closes behind. So they are the gun touch security thing. I've got detail on these walls here. And I've got the first of many robots. Now, I do want to eventually so these are inspired by the pitch drop on here and I'm going to message one of the guys in the community if he can use the arc sign things to have a projector hidden down there with the face of one of these robots in the square there instead of using these because these don't really look great they're way too away from where it's meant to be so I want to remove those and just have that little image of that so I'm going to get that but also so they introduce you when you get here and then when you get close enough the doors open so I finished this is mostly the detail of this room is done this took a lot of hours to do and now once so the plan is I've had people asking now oh, I've got this here temporarily at the moment I can work it all out that's what he did so uh, information to his steam down below and any other information I could find on him like if he's got a Twitter or anything I'm putting that all down below he's done an amazing thing a lot of coding to make these work you know open this up and have a look look how long that is all that just to do that so he made this one for me and I'm gonna ask him if he can do some more stuff for the project now I'm gonna look below I'll turn off the lights so it's easy to see now look what's below me Yep. So, uh, the next video clip will be of doing that, but also part of the video clip is going to be me raging because I had a lag spike and I crashed. And when I came back, it had rolled back and I thought it had rolled back. And then I came back the next today and it had come back. Now, the problem is I can't really get down there. And you might be wondering, why do I have the red lasers? Well, part two of this build that I'm probably going to record it once I get down to the corruption zone is the lasers are marking the pillars. And now each of the pillars that are down below are going to go all the way down to the corruption zone with these pipes. So the whole thing is going to have a holding up structure. Now, this is just the auditorium. Go up here. Oops. This is the only hallway that's actually got something in it. And this will be to the biodome and looking into the biodome that will be there. I'm going to tidy that up a bit more. And this will be going over to the overseer's office. The overseer's office is going to be there. And the, there's just going to be probably a little balcony look out there. I also have plans for... I'll put some photos up on the screenshots what I'm doing for concept. These are stuff I'm going to make that are in Fallout that are going to be in the vault so this is just one room this is probably going to be the biggest room in the build took about two weeks to build in total well, a lot of materials I had to do a lot of resource gathering it's not done I've still got to do the basement and I also plan to put catwalks down there as well that will be you'll be able to get to those from different areas and that yeah so the next two clips are going to be doing digging this area and doing stuff like that there's going to be a this build is ages from being done uh, when I main, mean this is going to be big if this is just the auditorium and I've got photos are probably coming on the screen right now there's a lot more to come this build is going to be big I plan multiple things to be added to this build including multiple labs a cryogenic chamber labs with different things and mostly a full kind of like some of the 
monsters. There have been bosses in here that you have to take on. Uh, escaped t test subjects. Whole entire thing here. In other words, the plan is I'm going to release the whole thing as one whole triumph adventure. But another friend had an idea of releasing it as parts. So you'll play through part one, part two, part three. Like being in the ink machine, stuff like that. But I think it'd be more fun as one whole entire part. And because Codeverse is going to a 64 bit processor, it should actually run a lot more smooth and a lot more easier. Because this room's big. And it's starting to get quite large. And I'll jump down here. Lasers, so they're going to come down quite far. We got it down to the lava zone. So it's going to get more and more dangerous because it, when it gets down to the corruption zone, it's going to be a lot more harder to blow it all up. So these are going to go all the way down the corruption zone. They plan to add catwalks up there, pipes coming down with purple liquid, and different things to different things. I also plan to the, on the workshop, a lot of community have made a lot of neat things, so I plan to, well, take some things that people have made in the community and thank them. You can see there's a lot of stuff over here, and bring some of the stuff from the community that people have done into this world as a showcase. So this guy, this guy's built this. I plan to take the top part of this, or top part of it, and have that in an area. I plan to put in a rocket bay. So there'll be a giant massive rocket and all different things. Really make it so uh, some of the community large things were in here. They were office here with the aquarium. And that's going to be in the biodome. So this house is going to be in the biodome. And there's the biodome there. So it's massive builds that are just going to really be something that... It's going to be also a showcase thing of you know, looking around to see different builds out of here done. But also a storyline to it. And I'm talking to some friends right now, and I plan to some of the one of the other people in the community have done it. I've got some friends that do voice acting for uh, different things, and I'm going to get them to voice act uh, lines for it. So it'll be a full proper adventure with war and everything. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video, and I will see you guys next week. Got next week's update, and I'm hoping this week to start working on some getting the war. Uh, the diner done, part, parts of the diner made, and getting these pillars done. So there's going to be massive pillars going all the way down here and some catwalks. Ready to open up this area. And also, tr try and finish off killing those bosses so I can get some candy out to you guys so I can do an unboxing video of all the candy boxes I've gotten so far. I probably won't get them all done, because the combat's not really my thing, but I got a couple of them for you. Yeah, give you an idea, this is just a fraction of the, of so far, we've gotten 300 iron from digging out that hole. And I haven't still got tons of them to grab. So I've got, an, I've got enough resources for this build. And more to come. So there's a lot more to come for this build. And I also do plan to add community members and people done with the... So there will be a lot of easter eggs as well on the build that I plan to put around, so uh, you're going to have a lot of fun in this. This is probably going to be one of the largest adventures that Crotovers has ever seen. That's my end goal. This is going to be massive. Because you've got the map here. If I zoom out, give you an idea, the build is going to be under this whole area. So this whole mountain area is going to be the build. So that so the plan is, so we're in the mountain here, we're at one of the walkways, there's a walkway here, that's where the biodome is. It's going to start, so you're going to be, try and center this up a bit. So all of this is going to be it. All of this is going to be it. you got all of this is going to be parts of it. You've got this area as well. you got all of this as well. Got this as well. So it's going to be a big, big build. And 
I also plan to do one more crazy thing. I've been collecting a lot of tar. I'm going to coat the whole area in tar. Because why would there be a vault? Yeah, so that's mostly the update for this week. I plan to add more stuff to it as we go. Um, with my schedule and everything planning, I'm hoping to have the full build done by March. That gives you an idea how big this is. This is not a small build, like, and it's done by one person. And something that I want to really just make something unique and make something really fun for the community I mean that really makes people go you can do a lot of like big minecraft builds I've done I've done massive builds I'll chuck uh, some of the links down below some of the time lapses of builds that I've done with minecraft I've done massive builds also here's my folder this is my minecraft folder I've been part of some of the largest Minecraft build teams in the world. I've been part of Voxelbox back in the day, Far UK. I've helped along with Blockworks. And my background is building. Massive things in Minecraft. It's normally been me mostly doing myself on my own. Some builds, I've spent 600 plus hours on a build. To thousands of hours. So this is, this is so far, some more for what I've built in the past. And this is something unique. I've always wanted to do a vault, but Minecraft mostly was, didn't have, could never get it to work right. And having the rotation and the capabilities you can do in Creativeverse really adds a lot more. But I'm starting to waft on like I normally do, and a lot of people that have subscribed to the channel know I waft on a bit when they actually wish to begin to the good stuff. So enjoy the time lapse, and I'll see you guys in the next update week in a week's time. Have a good day or enjoy the time lapse.
It's hard. 